I thought I told your ass to subscribe, man. What's going on? I'm gonna find you, bro. It's a matter of time. Just fucking hit the subscribe, like, and share button. All that shit. Ahora tampoco encontrábamos una esperada salvación. Y ahí estaba lo picante o lo trágico para usar palabras de mi hijo. Are we on record right now? You want no problem, man. Because you want no problem. You, you watching, you want no problem. I grew up like right behind Malls of the Americas, which is, I don't know, Miami. <laughs> and I grew up there till I was like 14, and the environment was, it wasn't bad, you know, just a bunch of kids like me, you know, single parents, apartment building. I've been involved in a couple street fights growing up. MMA is big time different than street fighting. The number one factor being you don't get stabbed or shot in an MMA fight. I think he has a good chance of being 155 champion of strike force. If he trains correctly, I know he could do it for sure. He just gotta put his ass in gear and stop fucking around. My strength and conditioning coach Juan Carlos, uh, which has helped me out a lot, you know. We started right before the East, right? My conditioning back then was just running four or five miles, you know, and I thought, oh, I'm in shape, you know. And I'd always be like, I grab somebody, you squeeze somebody, and you're like, damn, why do I get tired, you know, because it's not the same in, in boxing. Mainly you just run for distance, and that's it, you know, that's that's good shape, which in boxing it is, because you, you don't have to deal with the other way. But when you're in MMA, it's, it's a lot more complex, so you gotta be able to lift. Somebody weighs the same as you or more, and you gotta be able to throw a punch, so you gotta have everything tied up tight, you know. So you're gonna be honest with both of them? Be honest with me about the sponsor. I'm all of yours. I told you our goal was 15 grand. You gotta be realistic. Between me and you, and the 50 million viewers. Why can't you stand? And he told me go ball with me. I was telling Ray, get this much. He's at Georgia. We need to fly straight. You know, always playing the, the safe guy. You know? Because if, if he tells you 25 and we come in at 15, you're gonna be upset, right? But if we tell you 10 and we come in at 15, we look like superstars. Look at you, I can tell you've been out to at least 5, 6 in the morning. Yeah, I woke up at 4 to go run. That's not what I heard, I got a phone call last night. Who called you? No, I'm still working. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. I had people checking up on everybody. I woke up like around 4 because I was going to have a busy day. George. Got George. back home at like 5, 15. Went George. to sleep, woke up at 9. And I know where you were last night. You were in La Covacha. I was going to go for the thing. George, they called no, me. No, 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 because I was going to go and then I... Then the music was in the background and I heard your voice. That's a lie. It's not a lie. You're lying to me. That's a lie. No, no, it isn't. What did you tell me? You want to be straight force champion? How do you think I can make that happen when you're four weeks out from a fight and you're partying to five in the morning? I will, because I was going to... See, I, I know I know where you got to confuse. Let me finish. I was going to go with these guys, and I'm sure it was better they called you, one of them. George, I can smell the alcohol coming out of your pores today. No alcohol? I took like four showers anyway, there's no way you can smell anything. So you're admitting that you took four showers to cover up the alcohol? I drank at night, but I didn't go out, I drank in my house, I had two beers to fall asleep. There's clothing under here. Okay, so you're street. in the denial stage. Hey, was George out at the club last night? You weren't there, huh? Was he getting shots all night? Thanks, I'll talk to you later. Half the bouncers at the club are fighters or trainers. At least go to a place where I don't know anything. Like, don't blame me for stupid. Whether I partied last night or not, I had two sessions today early, and I'm with the both of them. Call the trainers. And I performed at a maximum level. I think I actually do better when I go out and party. Not that I did last when night. When you hungover reading about it, you continue to admit. But you didn't tell me where I, you didn't you didn't ask the right question. You didn't tell me where I ran to from one time to one time. That's what you should ask. You were running home. I ran to the club. Because your girlfriend probably showed up chasing you out of the club. I know how it goes. You drink too much and you eat too much. You gave me a two-day food log of you being on your best behavior. You didn't say what two days. <laughs> you gotta be honest about what I you're eating in you order for her to help you. You didn't tell me what to do. You didn't tell me give you a food log. I gave you a food log. I just hired a professional. A lady that special. That you're lying to. A lady that specializes in this. That you're lying to. So she can't properly help you if you're not being honest with her about what you're eating. Right? Why don't you just listen to me? Why do you have to fight with me?